can yawn. That didn't take long. <laughs> they are such great fighters. They are so strong. <laughs> I'm pulling a fisheye dodger. Um, put quite a bend in it to get action out of it, low speed. And a purple and white Uncle Larry spinner. And of course, I got a tip with shoe peg corn. <laughs> Man, they fight. They are scrappers. What a fight. That was 25 feet down. There he is. In the neck. Nice kokanee. There he is, guys. High Sierra Salmon, beautiful little kokanee, just chrome bright. It's gonna be bright orange inside. Um, that's dinner for one right there, awesomeness. Hello folks, Cal Kellogg here. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might've noticed that I've been MIA for the last week. Um, that's because Wes and I, we decided to take a week off as spring gave way to summer. Um, kind of regroup and get ready for the summer fishing season. Um, that footage you saw in the beginning of this video, I shot that up at beautiful Bucks Lake. Um, while I was up at Bucks, Wes was doing his Clark W. Griswold invitation, touring a bunch of Western states, including Colorado and uh, Utah with his family, um, stopping at a bunch of national parks, national monuments, stuff like that. They had a wonderful time. Um, Wes is back in the office now. I am back in the office now, and we are ready to get on with the summer. Um, up at Bucks, I was with my dear friend Abdul and his son Elias. We spent three days kayaking the lake and, and long days too. This is oh. an epic fight. Brown. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful brown. Chunky fish. Wow, look at the colors. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. 15 inches. Nice. Got several browns today. Um, that's probably the smallest one we got, and that's a pretty nice fish here at Bucks Lake. Um, we spent, you know, 10 hours um, a day in the kayaks chasing trout, chasing Mackinac, and chasing kokanee. And uh, here's, here's how that trip broke down. Um, there are a ton of Mackinac in Bucks Lake, but we weren't able to get any of them to go. They appeared to be feeding on kokanee, and uh, we, we didn't try for them a whole lot, but we didn't have any luck at all with the Mackinac. Um, we had periods of trout fishing that were absolutely phenomenal. We were fishing during the full moon period. The, hey, that's when we could go. We had a full moon. That's never great for Sierra fishing, high elevation trout fishing, um, but we dealt with it. Um, we had periods of great trout action. We had periods of non-existent trout action. When the trout bite was on, we caught um, a mix of rainbows and browns. I'm gonna say two thirds browns, one third rainbows. Rainbows were the biggest fish. We had a couple rainbows beyond three pounds. Um, most of our browns were in that 16 to 18, maybe 19 inch range, beautiful fish. Um, don't have weights or measurements on those because we immediately released those browns. We did keep a couple rainbows um, to fillet. They had beautiful orange meat, just high quality, high mountain trout. Um, when the trout bite slowed down, our fallback species was definitely the kokanee. <laughs> Whoa. Nice kokanee. That's a nice kokanee. Right there. Um, the kokanee weren't huge, but they weren't real small either. I'm gonna say our average keeper kokanee was 12 inches. Um, they ranged up to maybe just over 13 inches. We did get a few dinks mixed in that were in that 10 inch range. We tried to let those go unharmed if they weren't hurt. Um, day one, we focused on the kokanee. Uh, Elias li literally had a kokanee on his line within 30 seconds of putting his downrigger down. Um, I gotta hand it to that kid. He's 11 years old. 
He runs his own kayak, watches the sonar, runs the downrigger. He is a fishing machine. He's very, very good, especially considering he's 11 years old. Um, Elias was getting his kokanee on a small dodger from Dynamite Tackle paired with a Dynamite Tackle um, spinner. Um, orange was his color, orange and gold, I believe, or maybe it was orange and chrome, but definitely orange, tipping it with corn, of course. Um, day one, we were fishing down 25 to 30 feet. The kokanee seemed to drop as, as the week went on, but uh, there's no, no problem finding them. They are in very defined schools. Um, you'll mark them. You drop on them, you're going to catch them. At times they were a little finicky. Um, I tried a few different offerings that didn't work, but I settled on a four inch fisheye dodger teamed with a purple and white UV Uncle Larry spinner. Going old school with the Uncle Larry's. They still work, guys. Um, tipping that with corn. And Abdul, he caught kokanee on a variety of offerings, including a cripple lure and uh, some dynamite tackle spinners and blades, stuff like that. Um, Abdul relied heavily on the cripple lure to hook his trout while I was pulling a natural colored trigger minnow for my trout. And uh, those combinations were working real well. The kokanee first day, like I said, 20, 25 feet. By the end of the week, they were down 30, 35 feet. The hot depth for trout was definitely 20 to 25 feet. Early morning was best. Um, just go out and find those isolated scattered marks in, you know, kind of mid to mid to upper water column. Those are trout. Grind on those fish, work those fish. You're going to catch those fish. You know, go with your confidence bait. For me, it was the trigger minnow. I know there's a lot of uh, small kokanee in that lake. And I figured, you know, who could pass up a small little kokanee minnow swimming through the water? So that was my confidence bait. Abdul loves the cripple lure and uh, you know, I've caught thousands of fish on cripple lures. It is a top-notch spoon He was running uh, silver and blue. He was running a white model and uh, He was keeping pace with me and my trigger minnow. He was doing very well So it was a wonderful week up at high elevation The hardest part about bucks isn't the fishing. Fishing's usually really good at bucks It's a hard place to get to. It's kind of like Eagle Lake in a straight line. It's close to major population hubs but uh, you got to go a roundabout route to get there. You either got to go up through Oroville, go up through Truckee, and then, you know, make 37 left turns and uh, go up some really steep grades to get there. Anyway, that's it for now. Look for a full regimen of videos coming up. I hear a car coming. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. And remember, if you're looking for trout gear, FHSfishing.com, and we'll hook you up with what you need, including lead core rods, trigger spoons, metalhead trolling flies, soft plastics, and more. I'm out of here for now. You be safe, and I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks a ton.